Good morning students. Today I am going to explain how to simulate a second order low pass Butterworth filter using LT space. Filter. What is mean by filter? Filter is nothing but a frequency selector. It can allow the signal in a particular band of frequency that is pass band and reject the same signal in another band of frequency that is stop band. There are two types of filters. One is active filter. Another one is passive filter. Passive filter means it is a combination of RLC. Active filter means it is a combination of passive components added with op-amp or transistor. In active filters, there are many types that is Butterworth filter, Bessel filter, Carr filter, elliptical filter, etc. Here, why because we particularly choose this Butterworth filter means to get the output response in flat to flat. That means there is no ripples present in the output response. In the previous experiment, we have designed and simulated a low pass filter for a cutoff frequency for 1 kHz. Then why we go for second order filter means to get an accurate cutoff frequency. If suppose I want to design a first order filter for a cutoff frequency for 1 kHz means practically we get only 800 Hz. That's why we go for second order filter. So we have to add one more resistor and capacitor with first order filter to get a second order. Understand? So here R1 and R2 is used to find out the overall gain of the filter and R3 and C2 is used to find out the cutoff frequency of the filter. So how to find and design the cutoff frequency and gain of the filter means the formula for gain of the filter A0 which is equal to 1 plus R2 by R1. So the overall gain for the Butterworth filter which is equal to 1.586 is a constant value which is equal to 1 plus R2 by R1. You have to assume one R1 value and find R2. After that, you have to find the cutoff frequency for the filter. The formula for the cutoff frequency for the filter Fc which is equal to 1 by 2 by Rc. So, you have to assume the capacitor value is 0 0.01 microfarad. Apply the value in the given formula and find R value. After find out the value, you have to apply the value in the given circuit and simulate it. Before simulate the circuit, you go to the edit simulation command and select AC analysis. Why? Because we have to observe the graph for frequency versus gain. So you have to choose the type of sweep is decay and the number of points per decay is 10. The start frequency is 100 hertz and the stop frequency is 5 kilohertz. Then click OK. After that, you have to run the circuit diagram. One horizontal window will open. You have to change the window to vertically. After that, you have to touch the probe in the output side. The gain value will be calculated automatically and the graph will shown on the right hand side. See the graph. So, if you want to observe the magnitude, magnitude value for each frequency means you have to click your mouse in the output graph one table will shown on the right hand side. So you have to move the cursor from minimum to maximum. The magnitude values will shown in the table. So finally, how to find out the cutoff frequency of the filter means the design cutoff frequency for the filter is 1 kilohertz. So how to find out in practically means you have to subtract the value of 3 from maximum gain. What is your maximum gain? You have to move the cursor in the top side. Okay. So the maximum gain is 3.9 dB. So the maximum gain 3.9 minus 3 which is equal to 0 0.9. So you have to move the cursor to 0 0.9 dB. Okay. Understand? 0 0.9 dB. So, how to find out uh, the cutoff frequency? Mm, maximum minus 3, which is equal to the maximum gain is 3.9 minus 3, which is equal to 0.9. So, finally, you get your accurate cutoff frequency, that is, design cutoff frequency 1 kilohertz. Understand? Thank you.